Um, actually, some of what we looked at today almost makes you challenge your, just even the most basic ideas you have about chess, like the three golden rules. So the three golden rules, the third one about getting your king safe, doesn't necessarily include castling. More often than not it does, in most openings it does, in most positions Probably 95 to 98% of games and um, play, castling is the way to protect your king. But it, do it doesn't, certainly doesn't mean it necessarily castle on the king side, because sometimes you're castling into a bit of an attack if there's a space advantage for your opponent's pieces on that side of the board. So that's one thing. Another thing which we're challenging here is our automatic way that we don't want to get behind the pieces, which is generally in 90% of your games as well, the most important thing you're trying not to do is getting behind on pieces. Here we've been looking at positions where attacking because the kings aren't all that safe is, and gaining time for attacking is actually more important than saving your pieces in some positions. Um, again, I don't want you to go away and think, right, I can just sacrifice all my pieces in every game and I'm going to win. Because you're not. Be, be, but yeah, before, yeah. before you say you're not, mm -hmm. I do recall when I was younger, I would have probably been rated about 1300-ish. This would have been when I was uh, a young teenager. Um, I probably spent the better part of six months sacrificing my pieces in almost every game thinking it was going to work. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it did, sometimes it didn't. But guess what happened? You learn when it does and you learn when it doesn't. And that's actually what some of you today have lost games because you've been doing exactly the things that we've been wanting you to do. You've been really trying to go in for the sacrificial ideas and you haven't quite managed to find your way to a mate at the end of it and you've ended up behind and lost the end game. And, and that's fine because that's all we're trying to achieve here. That's why we weren't rating the games. What we're trying to achieve is to open you up to new ideas and new positions and new plans that arise from different form structures and different openings. Has anybody anything they'd like to Okay, was there anything you found interesting about any of your games or anything you did that you thought was really... Or anyone want to mention what their favourite position that they played was? Yeah, John?
Tuesday and Wednesday, the 27th and 28th, for the under-7s and under-9s, and the Thursday and Friday, 29th and 30th, for the under-11s, under-13s, and under-15s, under under yes. If you're if you turned nine this year, then you can play in the under nines, but you're I'll welcome to choose it. under eleven if you want to. Yeah, yeah, you're very welcome to do that. And indeed, if there's anybody in under nines who wants to play under nines on the Tuesday and Wednesday, mm -hmm. and then do under elevens as well on the Thursday and Friday, they can have a half price for the same. One last thing before we quickly wrap it up. Uh, if anyone is interested in having the ability to look at all of the games and the material that we looked at. Email me at anthonyhain at gmail.com and I will send you a link to the microbase so that you can actually see all the positions that we looked at, all the games that are looked at. You can take your time, take your, 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 do whatever you want with them. Or if you're particularly enthusiastic, and I mentioned this to Tim Laugh, um, if you want to, my entire database of games of the night off, then I can s basically make a copy of the database that has 16,000 different games for the night off. If you're that into it, yeah. It would be something to do in the yeah. yeah. right. yeah. Sixteen thousand. Okay. Yeah. Parents, I will email. I will email all of you with um, Anthony's email address and instructions for doing that. If you uh, if you want to um, sign up for Chess Microbase anyway. So, uh, yeah. 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 Today? No, we're priceless today. It's all education. That is your prize today. Yeah, alright, good. Um, alright, so I've, I'm really, really impressed with the just the concentration levels and the enthusiasm and the way everybody's taking in those ideas today. Really, really, really well done to everybody. Thank Put it this way, from now on, even if it doesn't work, just consider the possibility in your games that you might want to sacrifice to get some initiative and then push through with that sacrifice. You might lose the game, you might not. Either way, whether you win or lose those games, you will learn something about that sacrifice and that type of position. So it's a good idea to try it. Okay, so the three blocks are still playing a game. If you haven't got any grumpy parents standing there saying we want to go home for our dinner, then you may complete those games if you want to, otherwise you'll be going. Sorry. Yeah, oh yeah, sorry, just one thank you. Right, so we, are going to be, we are going to be doing this. The Sunday before RJ Shield next month again. So the third Sunday of the month. Thank you for that. Thank you. Next month will be a completely different Thank you.